Hi. So we have a 59-year-old female, and she says, what do you recommend for chronic fatigue syndrome? Oh, we could be here all day with that one. <laughs> okay, the story with, with, with chronic fatigue, okay, you know, there, there, are two, there are two syndromes that people come in with regularity, okay, that, that are known to have no cause, okay? And chronic fatigue is one of them. The other one's fibromyalgia. And the first thing that I would pose to you is to actually get a firm diagnosis as to what's causing your quote-unquote chronic fatigue syndrome. The most common cause of, of CFIS, okay, chronic fatigue syndrome, is hypothyroidism, okay? And they'll come in, they go, oh, well, my doctor is plural, because they all have about 50 doctors that have gone through. Um, I'll say that my thyroid's normal, and then I'll look at the, I'll look at the notes. And what they check, basically, is TSH, which by the time they come to me is already normalized, okay? Why you can be chronically hypothyroid and have a normal TSH, because it, it's, the body gets a, it adapts to temperatures. Okay, so all of a sudden, the pituitary thinks, well, this is the new me. And it drops, the, the thyroid stimulating hormone drops to normal. But the real issue is in looking at autoimmune titers. And so they'll, you may look at it and say, well, you know, my, my um, uh, CRP or chronic, uh, you know, is, is chronically slightly elevated. Nobody ever looks at the sed rate anymore. And let it go at that. But chronic uh, fatigue syndrome most commonly is hypothyroid. And that's where it's that's that's where it usually comes and goes. And the second one is adrenal fatigue syndrome will do it. Now down the list, you'll start looking at chronic parasitic diseases. You'll see uh, chronic uh, bowel issues. You'll see immune system issues. But if you're going to go with number one and two, it's going to be thyroid followed by adrenal. And you have to do a fairly substantial workup for the adrenals to precisely locate the issue. Uh, it's not often necessary to do that. We do it uh, once in a while, but typically. We're going to look at the steroidogenesis pathways and hit it, you know, analyze it in five different locations. That gives you a real good idea where the issues are. Thyroid, you got to check the autoimmune titers.